Hello and welcome. It's time for iPhone Friday, and tonight H is for Hotspot. My name is Bill Skladowski, and every Friday evening at 8 o'clock, we do a little in-depth training on how to get the most out of your iPhone or iPad so that you get help with your high-tech life, just like it says there on the screen. Uh, remember, Wednesday, what's new Wednesday? Just a new tip or a trick or some fun thing that I happen to come across. And then Friday, a little bit more in-depth with a lesson on how to do something specific. And, and if you've been following along, we've been doing iPhone A to Z, and every letter, uh, every week, a new letter, and we're up to H, and H is for hotspot. Now, what does that mean? Well, of course, if you're home, <laughs> H is for home. If you're at home and, you know, you have cable and Wi-Fi and all that sort of thing at home, well, your computer and your laptop and your iPad and your iPhone, they're probably all on the Internet and, you know, just connected uh, just as just like you like. On the other hand, if you're out somewhere where there is no Wi-Fi signal, yes, there are places in this country and on planet Earth that don't have Wi-Fi. They're becoming fewer and fewer, but there are there are still some out there. You can use your iPhone or iPad um, if it has a cellular connection. More on that in a second. But if your iPhone uh, is still has signal, and by that I mean it can make a phone call, you know, if you ever look in the upper left corner of your iPhone there, there's the little bars, you know, that shows the signal that you're getting. As long as your iPhone is getting a cell phone signal, of course, it's also connected to the Internet because you're getting the Internet via that cell phone signal. But you can also share that signal by turning your phone into a small little personal hotspot that will share Wi-Fi in a small area. And tonight we're going to talk about setting that up. So if that you know didn't make sense, <laughs> stick around, it will. A lot of people always ask me that. It's like, you know, how come the phone, you know, can still be on the Internet, but I'm not anywhere that there's any Wi-Fi signal or anything like that? It's because the, your phone also can get the Internet, for lack of a better term. You know, you can still surf around the Internet or do email and things like that because your phone not only is connected to the Internet via Wi-Fi when you're home or at the restaurant or, you know, wherever, but it also is connected to the internet with the cell phone signal. You may not have known that, but it's true. And now sometimes, of course, depending on your carrier, you know, Verizon or AT&T or Sprint or whatever, you may or may not have that service and you may or may not pay extra for it. And you may or may not only get a certain amount of information data, it's called a data plan, every month so that if you are using your phone on the internet and it's not connected to Wi-Fi, well, maybe that's, you know, you have to pay a certain amount for a certain amount of information. It's kind of like, um, you know, going to a restaurant and you only get one thing for one price compared to your Wi-Fi, which is kind of like a buffet where it's all you can eat <laughs> for one price. I don't know, that just came to me. All right, so with that in mind, how do I make that happen? Well, on your phone, and again, back to our friend settings for this. So uh, I'm going to show you some, uh, when we get to the phone, I'm going to show you some screenshots, some pictures that I've taken from the Apple website and others that show you how this works. Because it's, uh, it's a little hit or miss on my phone where I'm at because of my uh, condo here is, you know, like built like a fortress and sometimes it can get on the internet with this and sometimes it can't. So just, you know, this is going to work when you're out you know, away from home, not on Wi-Fi, but maybe you have your laptop with you and you're thinking, well, I can't get on the internet on my laptop. Well, you can using this hotspot feature. So you'll go to settings and the first thing you'll look for in settings, let's jump over to that. Oh, let me get, uh, hide this thing. Under, you like this? This is my new little, this is my new little window down here. <laughs> when you go into settings, that's the first of the three screens that you see there. You're going to see where, uh, right on the top uh, section there where there's airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, and as you see where it says personal hotspot, and it's literally right up there up above my head, okay? Normally it's off, so tap on that. You come to the second screen, second screen up there where it says personal hotspot, right, and then toggle it on. So that's the third screen that you see over there at the far right where the personal hotspot has been turned on, okay? Now, as you can see on the screen there, there's three different ways that your phone can share 
internet connectivity with other devices. In other words, you could, you could plug it right in with a cable. You could plug it in via the cable that came with your iPhone. You can use a Bluetooth connection. Or what most people do is the top one there is Wi-Fi. In other words, the phone now is going to act not only like a receiver, it's also going to transmit the internet in a small area. How big of an area? Eh, probably the size of your living room or something like that. Maybe a little bigger, but probably not, okay? Closer is better. So again, just go to settings, go to personal hotspot, toggle it on. Okay, good. Now, here's the next screen. You're gonna see when you do toggle it on, and that first screen up there is just a, a bigger version of the one we were looking at before, okay? You're going to see, now look where it says Wi-Fi password, okay? There's gonna be a password there automatically inserted. In other words, you don't have to create a password. It's gonna put one in there. But I will say this, it's going to be long and complicated, okay? And if you are okay with that, you're okay with that, we'll move on and I'll show you the next move. But if you wanna change it to something that's easier, all you have to do is tap on, on the first screen right above my head here, just tap on where it says Wi-Fi password, and then you'll go to the next screen over where you can tap in that text field where, see where it says Easy Pass, right? Somebody created that. So you'll just backspace and delete the password that's in there and type in your own password, and it can be anything. Now, it does say, like it says there, it has to be eight characters, and, you know, that's about it, all right? So you could make it as literally as easy as Easy Pass. You can make it anything you want, okay? Because it's only temporary and you're just gonna use it for the next few minutes, right? Just remember when you're done, right? We're tapping on done up there in the upper right corner. Done means done and that sets it up, okay? So now what? Well, now your, your phone, your iPhone is receiving, let's jump back over. Your iPhone is receiving, you know, the internet through its cell phone radio and then rebroadcasting it out to the neighborhood. And by neighborhood, I just mean the room that you're in, okay? So then if you had, for example, a computer, a Windows laptop, or, some, or even your Mac, doesn't matter, all right? This is the Windows uh, screen here, and I don't know who Domer's iPhone is. Again, I just uh, took this off of the internet, so don't worry. It's going to say whatever the name of your iPhone is, Bob's iPhone, Bill's iPhone, whoever, it's going to show up just like that. It's going to say name iPhone, okay? So just look for, and believe me, if you're in Windows and you're, you know, you get to this, it's probably going to be the only one that says iPhone, right? So you're going to click on the connect button down there and then put in the password that you created on this previous page. So if you created a password that says easy pass or, you know, this is my password, whatever, you're just going to type that in. When you click on connect over here, of course, you've probably seen that a thousand times with your Windows computer, where it opens up another box and it says type in the Wi-Fi password. And you're done, congratulations. You're now connected to the internet via the Wi-Fi connection that's coming from your phone. Very, very cool, okay? Now, only one more thing to keep in mind and that is when you're done, you probably wanna make sure you turn it off, all right? So, you know, you've visited the coffee shop, you've done what you needed to do on your computer or your laptop, all right? You probably wanna go back into settings and personal hotspot and just turn it off. Just toggle that green switch off there at the top where it says personal hotspot. It'll turn off, it'll stop, you know, sending out any internet signal or anything like that. And that's just really to kind of protect you because you don't want your phone constantly broadcasting internet signals around for just about anybody to pick up, okay? So there you go. That's the uh, easy way to do it, to turn it on and off and set your own password. All right, that's gonna do it. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And it just so happened we got a nice, easy uh, iPhone A to Z. H is for hotspot tonight. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have friends that you think would uh, get useful information out of this, please feel free to share with them, either right here on Facebook, if you're watching this on Facebook, or if you're watching it on the blog over at BillSkladowski.com, or if you are watching it on YouTube, no matter what, feel free to share. If you're on Facebook, please give it a like or a thumbs up or whatever it is that you do to show your approval. <laughs> and there you go. Last thing to remind you of, of course, is the newsletter. If you haven't signed up for it yet, please do. 
Uh, if you go over to the website, BillSkledowski.com, that's the address you see right there down at the bottom of your screen, you'll see this screen first. Click on that uh, Click Me button there. It won't, be, it won't be outlined in red when you get there. I just did that to show it off here on the screen. But just click on that. All it asks for is an email address. You put in your email address, and then every weekend we send out the free newsletter, which tells you what the two videos were this past week. And it also has the handout. Every week we have a free handout of how to do what it is that we talked about on iPhone Friday. So this week, obviously, it'll all be about how to set up your personal hotspot on your iPhone so that you can use it whenever you are out and about. All right, that's going to do it. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, stay safe out there. Keep washing your hands. I know I'm doing the same thing. So uh, have a great weekend. Stay safe. And we will see you next week for What's New Wednesday right here next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Take care. Bye-bye.